this video with the hope that I can help you relieve your back pain. So here are some yoga moves that I when I do when I have back pain because of sitting for too long or do some exercise that I hurt my back. So let's do it with me. First, my favorite one, very simple. Now you can open your legs equal to your shoulders so that you can have a firm stand. And then, inhale, bring your two arms up and try to maximize your spine. Try to reach to the top. Exhale. I feel very good at this position while all my left side is strength and it is Also, heels up, try to push to the top, yeah, sometimes our balance is not good, like mine. Then you have reach and you can put your heels down and reach to your left. And now this time your right side is trapped. It feels so good. We can do this for several times. <sighs> Inhale up. Try to lengthen your spine. Exhale. You can try to bend this side and you can you can try the first version. You don't move, you do not move your hips like this. So you just bend this side. But if you want to bend more, you have to you want to have more stretch throughout from your legs, from your feet to your hands, then you can bend also bend your hips and reach here. But remember you can put your arms on your thighs or on your shins, but not on your knees, okay? Remember never to put too much pressure on your knees, on your joints. Okay, and then when I have done several times like that, I will move from this side to this side. And now I have to use a little strength to bring my body up. And you can feel that something on your spine, your lower back is moving. Then you have to really work them out. Inhale, exhale, reach to the infinity. Okay, come back here and you maybe want to try to lower your whole body. behind your back do it like this you can put your arms together and maybe shake your body a little bit okay so slowly stand up you can feel that every part of your back is moving slowly. Roll up your spine. Okay, and now we will not stop as just side bend, but also back bend a little bit. We also do the same thing. Reach our arms to the top, to the ceiling, and then we inhale. Exhale, you put your hands on your hips and then also use strength to push here. So you also do some massage to your hips. You can put it here. Uh, you feel like 
all of the muscles are being relaxed. Okay. Yeah, it feels so good when you touch it here. Again. Now this time, not just only put push here, but also back, do some back bend. And remember to squeeze your thighs also. Don't go so low if you are not very flexible. Go up. And when you go up, you push your hands on your hips. So it will help you a little bit to go up better. Because when you are not strong enough, your back is not strong enough, and you push it, then the, your strength will support you to go up and you will not fall down. Okay? And now, we will do the opposite side. Inhale. We also push your hands here, but we exhale towards. Now we will continue to do several times more. And remember when you do the back bend, squeeze your ass, squeeze your thighs, so it will support your back a lot. Okay? My sacrum is inside, so it's roll up totally. And when I do the cat, I just try to, to have curves very deeply and our arms still push on the ground. We reach to the maximum of everything. And then with the cow, we inhale and the cat, we exhale, okay? Or we can do the opposite. It depends on you, okay? Remember to roll your sacrum inside. Thank you. 
better. Now we can do the child pose. Extend your spine. Sit back and reach your arms to the infinity. Remember, the bust should be on the ground. It shouldn't be like this too much. We should have a relaxed pose. Pose. Okay, first lie down and put your put your hands equal to your chest and then we will inhale and go up. And when you go up you can squeeze your butt. So we usually use all of our body, push your hands to the ground. Look up, inhale, exhale, go down, again, inhale, you can go back a little bit more where if you are not flexible, push a little bit more, or if you cannot, you can give it away, like this, it depends on your spine. Don't push yourself too much. And then we go back to child pose. Okay, one more round. Lie down. Hands to the chest like this. Go up. Use your hands to hug your, your ankles. 
open it wide and then you can do the happy child pose to the two sides. Okay. You can go a little bit back, close pose. for too long. Now you can reach uh, your right leg up and then put your left arms on and then you turn your face on in the right and you turn the right leg to the left. Oh. So you have to twist on your back. It feels so good. Okay, go back. Put your right leg down, left leg up, look to the left and turn. You can stay here as long as you want. Okay. Or, that is just one way. Uh, there are two ways to do this. So if you you can do just one leg down like this and one leg to the side like this or if your core is stronger then you can put both legs up but your core should be strong enough so you can keep it to the side and you and the strength you pull to the side will be like more and your and your spine will be twisted more. Inhale, exhale. Slowly control your legs. Inhale, exhale, control, control, control. Or you can even straight your legs like this. Remember, only do that if you can control your legs. Don't just drop them very strongly and then you will hurt yourself. Don't do it like this. No, no. Okay, just control it and do it slowly. Okay, the harder part, the harder version for that, you can straight your legs and then you put it to the side. This is gonna be tougher. Straight your legs like this. Put it to the side. Control, control, control. Slowly. Okay. And up, 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 up. Remember to squeeze your ass. Slowly drop it down. Oh, I can hear the knuckles on my spine. It feels so good. Go up. Your legs should always go together. It shouldn't be like this, this. So it will not help much. It's okay, but always try to put your legs together. If you're not strong enough, then maybe you can put one by one this up and this one up, this down and this down. Okay, there are many versions of that. Some fan kick here if you want to play a little bit. Okay, but remember the important point is that we're trying to cure our back, so just do it um, with uh, depends on the strength of your spine and don't push yourself too much. Okay. Yes, and that's what I usually do when I have back pain and I hope that this video can help you relieve your back pain too. So, see you in the next video.